Yes, yes, yes. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Man, how'd you guys like the, uh, the, the, the board meeting? Did you go in and read it? Did you hear uh, the philosopher? Because it sure didn't want you to be in part of the philosophers. Didn't want you to touch, be a, looking for the philosopher's stone within you. Actually saying they don't want you to have knowledge. Told you. The, some stuff is hidden right in front of us. I mean, everything actually is hidden in plain sight. Eyes wide shut, like the movie said. Right. So we're going to do a little word of the day. Get right in it with greetings, greetings, greetings. Thank you guys for your watches. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your communications. Thank you, some of you, for new friendships, right, that uh, uh, hit me up. I appreciate that uh, all the time. Finding people like-minded, having some knowledge, some revelation knowledge, having open to getting knowledge, knowing where not to get it to. Boom. That's another one. And who not to rely on. Boom. Right. Let's, let's get into the word of the day the word of the day, right? I got a word for you that really hit me the other day and I had to look it up. Um, I always say greetings. One word I use is, is wholeness, right? Um, definitely um, look at this. And this word is integrity, right? We're going, to go, we're going in on the word integrity. This is our word of the day, integrity. Yes, integrity. Integrity, integrity, integrity. Um, what's this? Um, integrity from the old French, innocence, blameless, chastity, purity, watch this, soundness, wholeness, completeness, notice they have seven, and one that really caught me was, uh, uh, I'm really uh, good friends and have been part of a group that that's their greeting all the time is wholeness. And I'm like, how about I greet you guys with integrity? Meaning, it means wholeness. It actually envelops seven different meanings, and that seven is very key, right? Um, uh, chastity, purity, innocence, blamelessness, purity, um, soundness, wholeness, completeness, right? Uh, correctness, blameless, even blameless and correctness, right? Well, we already had blameless in there. So a purity, correct, purity isn't in correctness, right? Correctness wasn't from the beginning, so that actually would make it eight, I believe. But anyways, the sense of wholeness, perfect condition is attested to the soundness of moral principle and character. Entire uprightness, fidelity, especially in regard to truth and fair dealings with others, right? Um, I thought this was interesting because... What's really kind of making us one of part of our, for me, one of the biggest parts that we see um, with um, with ourselves in some of these aspects that are the Christianity, they call it fruits of the spirit, right? Or some of these just really great uh, things about a person in, in integrity um, um, always showing up, and I'm trying to. The, the, the other words are escaping me that are not integrity, but liken to you have good a good moral compass uh, that you're uh, you know you're you're you don't you don't lie. You're somebody somebody can count on. You hold up your end of the deal. You hold up your bargains. You hold up all the stuff that connects into having good fabric within yourself. You're one that doesn't try to cheat somebody. There's a difference of things going bad and not working out than somebody actually going in and cheating them or getting over, running game on them, right? That would lack integrity, right? Forming a whole. Forming a whole, right, it says. Um, complete, untainted, upright, literally touched, Um meaning put together parts or elements combined into the whole. And this even goes into what I've said about ourselves. We're actually recapturing ourselves, knowing who we are, and then piecing ourselves together. That's the whole, you know, the whole story, like with the Humpty Dumpty story, right? Humpty Dumpty took a great fall, and guess who couldn't put him together? The king nor his man, because government's the ones that ain't giving you a lifeline, right? We, we talked about that couldn't put him back together again because it's for you to put yourself back together when you take the great fall 
in in notice he fell and, and Humpty Dumpty looks like an egg, right? Like an egg, somewhat. It has the shape of an egg. So when the egg breaks, the yolk comes out, right? Putting it back together is you putting back yourself into a, a, a wholeness state of being, wellness or well-being. And as you put yourself back into that state of wellness being, what happens? It actually starts connecting you to yourself. So you start getting connected. I remember when I was trying to live in, in religion uh, many, many, many moons again in uh, uh, Christianity, specifically Pentecostal Christianity, which they could be very strict, right? Of what's in the world and what's not in the world and what you can't do and what you can't listen to. Back in those days, what you can't see, what you can't watch. Even some of them saying, don't, the pastor saying, you, it's forbidden to have a TV in the church in our, in our congregation. It was against the standards or rules. So you'd have all this really inflicting uh, of this, trying to keep you morally, but really... It never worked because once you start trying to have integrity, you start ha trying to have these different uh, fruits of the spirit, right? It talks about integrity, uh, walking in certain places. Uh, it was difficult to try to bring that fruit off by yourself because you didn't know really where to plant the seed or turn the switch on within you, not knowing because religion keeps, keeps you outside of yourself. It's, it's morals and dogma. Stole that from Albert Pike, Morals and Dogma. That's another good one for the future. Um, break that down. Um, the dogma doesn't take you to who you are. It will try to have them put you together, them who can't do it. Once again, they will try to put you together with a religious system, a religious order, a political system, political order. They have not the capabilities because they're the ones that actually break you. So when you start actually putting yourself back together, right, and you start walking into these things, you start seeing that the achievability of, of these aspects of, of this in you of having, have, having integrity, right? Um, <coughs> can be released within you because it's actually in you. It just needs to be activated. And now these processes start changing you. You start you start changing, you start being, you start uh, mutating, you start uh, being, you start uh, changing like from a butter, from a worm to a butterfly, you go through the metamorphosis period is the change and it's within you. Notice even the, the, the metamorphosis from a worm or from that to a butterfly is within the cocoon. You don't see it outside of it. Where? It happens in the cocoon, not outside of it. It happens where? In the cocoon, not outside of it. So we need to start looking in the right spaces and the right familiarity to know who us, so we know where to look to make the necessary adjustments and know the growth is being monitored and even monitoring your growth, right? Because you can do that. In integration, watch this. In integration, in like integration, is to make whole, to renew, Again, begin again. That's why I can see why they would use in integrated, right? Sense of no longer divided by race. Wow, I like that. Integrated, which they did, but it was a disagreement. You know, when, the, when, when they do it, they can't put you together. When you do it, you can't. When they try to put you together, they can't do it. They're incapable. They're Walking in places that they have no ability to walk in, but program you. But when you get in and you start doing the work and have the awareness to know where to go and know where to do, baby, you, you, you're creating a, a, a field, an energetic creative field for yourself that can actually always progress you next level, right? Met it. Next level. Progression. Next level. Progression. Um, yeah, so integrity, which got me, I really was seeing how the integrity was connected to the completeness and correctness and the blamelessness and wholeness was in completeness was in wrapped in foil within you activating and having integrity. 
and really the and then the basis of it was was really that's what it would produce but it was to uh, uh regard the truth and fair dealings right uh, also there's another one i really liked was to be completeness but also to uh, uh give you power empower you to into a unity to make whole that's where the wholeness creates let's look at because i always talk heavily about division right the, the, their whole motto has been divide and conquer going on for however long hundreds to maybe millenniums right are, are, are just com 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 completely always reinvents itself because i think it's a it's a program it's always running that's why they're always telling nothing's new under the sun because the program keeps running when I look at it and I go, hmm, why wouldn't people, why wouldn't would there be anything new on the sun if you would learn from that mistake? But now I get it. It's a program. You have to, you got to, that's why I remember back a couple of years ago, we did all these videos on deprogramming, how you deprogram yourself. And I'll even say to this day, the residue of programming is there, but you're always scrubbing. You're always initially seeing it. You're seeing the program, and, and it doesn't have you under the spell. And if it does for a time, you always recognize it because your awareness is on point, right? Awareness always on point. Bang. Always on point. Always on point. And you go, okay, I see. I see. I hear. I hear. I see. And I zip. 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 See here. Because when you don't zip, you can't see in here usually. Talking from another level, not just talking physical, but it can work in the physical, right? People will ask, will will talk, and the, the, then ask a question where if they accept it, accept it, the question was answered in the next sentence, but they didn't hear because they didn't hear the what was answered because they kept talking. Seen this over and over and over and over and over. So, watch this. Entirety. It connected to integrated with the EN. Remember, we're talking, we're talking the I's and the A's and the I's and the U's can always be substituted in etymology and the words connected to the same. So, entirety, when we say the entire, we're always talking about everything. The entirety actually means the same thing into completeness, soundness, integrity, and wholeness. The, the all, right? And notice why I wanted to go into that. Notice that we look at for wholeness and entirety, but we're always saying peace and separating them, which really is Roman victory sign for winning another war, conquering, right? I don't want a peace. I want a whole. But with a visual on yourself, got a whole piece of pie, Right? You got slice, 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 slice. When you want a piece, you take a piece of pie out. But there's you don't have wholeness, you just had a piece. What I'm saying, this gives you, is connected to not pieces. Wholeness, completeness, integrity. That's the word of the day. You guys have a great day.